Well, hello again. It is another episode of Analog August. Now, some of you may have noticed that I haven't been making videos every day this month. Um, originally, that was the plan, but uh, things happened and uh, I chose not to make videos every day. Um, I'm not going to go into why, but uh, suffice to say, you know, bit my tongue the other day, so... Anyway, what have I got for you today? It's a, it, <laughs> this is going to be a bit, a bit more of a show and tell type episode. Because here we have um, one of these things. Polaroid 636. Close up. As you see on the other side of the box, this dates it rather nicely. 92. So you can assume that this camera was made around that time, or certainly introduced around 1992. Um, you can probably guess, one thing is probably for certain that these pictures probably weren't taken with the Polaroid camera, but uh, who knows, it could have been. Anyway, it's been a long time since I used this camera. Um, in fact, years since I've had to put film through here. So there's, there won't be a film in here. And yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, it's empty. Film counter there. This was zero. So, but anyway, I remember buying this car. Uh, uh, well, I don't remember exactly when I bought it, but I do remember it being new back in the early 1990s when I bought it. <laughs> That's the thing to say. Uh, I used to use this or a Polaroid camera at uh, cipher conventions, primarily to take photographs of uh, the guests uh, and get them to sign the Polaroid right afterwards. That's how I got my autographs. Um, I don't think I did many with this particular camera. I know th uh, the other Polaroid did most of that work, primarily because it was a uh, more sexier Polaroid than this one. <laughs> Hard to believe I know, but there you go. Uh, this particular Polaroid takes the type 600 film, so you'd uh, pop it, the front open there, put the cassette in, close it, magic starts happening, taking pictures with that. Uh, this particular one also has a close-up feature, close-up lens if you like. Uh, not sure how useful that was. But uh, I suppose I won't know until I get a new film in, to put into this. One of my acquaintances on the Instagram said that uh, they tried the new uh, Impossible film for the Polaroid cameras and she was very disappointed in the pictures, in the colours she got out of it, saying that uh, she's got 30 year old uh, Polaroid photographs that look better than the one she's taken with the new film. And. Uh, I can understand her being disappointed because uh, new, impo uh, new impossible film, Polaroid film, costs, we sell it in the shop and it's uh, £17 for eight photographs. Uh, so back in the old days when this camera was new, uh, it cost about £10-£12 for ten, so you're getting more for less. Um, Anyway, that's this week's show and tell. Uh, while I'm here, I'll probably uh, show you some of the pictures I've uh, took with it. I've got some albums over there. Just don't run off. So here we've got one of my uh, celebrity autographs, which is precisely what they are. So uh, let's see if you can recognise any faces in these, shall we? Let's see if I can recognise any faces in here, shall we? Pick one at random. Um, so who's this guy? There's uh, some bloke from uh, Stargate. I think it was in the first season of Stargate. Uh, Jay Akavonj. Yeah, this again is uh, probably the last time I was able to get uh, uh, autographs like this at uh, conventions. Just hold on, I'll fiddle with you a bit. 
There we go. Um, somebody else from Stargate, is it? I can't remember who these guys. Anyway, and I can't read his autograph, but there you go. Uh, let's find somebody else. Yes, look at this fella. And he is again Stargate Chap. What's his name? Mercedes McNabb. Somebody else from Buffy. More Buffy. <laughs> I, 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 I'd forgotten I had these, so. So that's the role of the drill bands. Richard Whiteley. Remember him? That wasn't a convention. That's a, he was a customer in the shop I work in, and uh, he came in one day. I just happened to have the Polaroid camera with him, and I asked him, "Do you mind if I uh, get an autograph?" And uh, yeah, I got his autograph. Yeah. Everybody's favourite Star Trek helmsman, George Takei, of course. Ah. Uh, writer, what's his name? Uh, interview with him in the sidebar or in the low bar. Ken McLeod, I'm sure you knew that already. He's looking uh, quite young there. There's Robert Lewan, Michael Shred. Get into focus, Michael Shred. Um, Jeremy Bullock, also known as uh, the original um, Boba Fett. Chase Masterson, everybody's favourite Dabba girl. Him, Tuvok, what's his real name? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, Nicole Dubois, I can tell you exactly what convention that was at. That was at uh, Supernova 99, so 1999, a long time ago. That's him being, uh, <laughs> being, yeah, never mind. I can also tell by the actual photographs that a lot of these were taken on the uh, Polaroid Impulse camera. Is it the Impulse or what? Anyway, I know I sold that one last year because uh, I needed, needed the cash really. Alice Krieger, aka the Ball Queen. Everybody's favourite uh, Star Wars repeat artist. <laughs> Warwick Davis, there of course. Uh, looks him again. You remember him from yesterday. And he's a partner in crime. Sort of. Doug Bradley. Some of you may remember him as Pinhead. Here's another Doug Bradley picture with the uh, take. This was with the uh, SX70. And uh, we were able to, uh, because of the way the particular film worked, we were able to. Uh, mess around with the picture after you've taken it a little bit. Nana Visitor, there. And in the next page, Garrett Wang. Uh, you just love when the guests play along with, like that. Siddig Elspide, or Alexander Siddig. You'll know him from uh, Deep Space Nine, and from, he was also in Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, died in the, la uh, the last season. And uh, what else was he in? Reign of Fire, the movie, and a few other things. Idris Elba. Uh, Emma Caulfield, uh, who recently became a mother, so if you're watching Emma, she, she probably isn't. <laughs> Congratulations on becoming a parent. That is, you know who that is. And beside her is uh, the doctor from Star Trek Voyager. Uh, this is, I don't know if, uh, if any of you will uh, recognize this woman. This is uh, June Tabor, singer type person. Uh, this was at a gig in Bradford, uh, so, so Bradford Queen's Hall when it was still Queen's Hall. Uh, yeah, John Carrigan, Walter Koenig, previous ex-Deputy ex -deputy Prime Minister, Prescott, 
This is uh, this is in Bradford. I was just going through Bradford. I was going to the uh, Museum of Photography to see to see some of the famous, to see Ray Harryhausen. I think it was he was doing something the other day. And uh, I, was, I was I was walking past the town hall, and this dragoon just uh, stops, and he gets out. John Prescott gets out, and so I ask him, "You mind if I get an autograph?" To which he replies, uh, "Is this going to take long?" And I said, "No, no." So I took the snap, he signed it. Job done. So there you go. Are you focused? Yeah, yeah, focused. Yeah, there you go. Dwight Schultz, who <laughs> is one of the few characters in Star Trek who had more hair at the end of the series than he did the, when I first started it. Took a small award. He's the uh, closest thing I've come to a, a natural hero type. Tucker. Virgil Barrett. Gareth Thomas, Blake Seven, of course, Hattie Hayridge, Ray Harryhausen, as I mentioned before, Jason Carter, Tony Todd, Tony pick one, that's good. Jeff Conaway, he's a he was a lovely fellow. This was at a Blackpool convention. Nice chap. Uh, probably taken at the, uh, no it wasn't the same con as the one I mentioned yesterday. Anyway, Jeff gone away. <laughs> yeah. Mira Furlan, who decided that she's not going to look at the camera. She, she, uh, she decided that she's going to look just off the camera, because apparently she prefers to do that. Not sure why. That's Mr. Furlan. Her husband. Babylon Five fella, and the other Babylon Five fella. So I can't read his name, and I've forgotten his name. <laughs> I, I'm so feel so terrible. There's lots of Babylon Five people in here, and uh, Caitlin Brown. Caitlin Brown. Mm -hmm. Julie Caitlin Brown. And of course, what's his name? Mr. Morden. Yeah, he creeped me out, this man. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> he creeped me out a little bit. Almost as much as his, uh, his uh, TV namesake. So that's what I did with uh, Polaroid cameras at sci-fi conventions. I made autographs of the guests. Yeah, It's going to be a long time before I can do that because uh, the rules have changed at conventions so you can't really do that. But... Uh, I'll see. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, links in the space below if you're interested. And uh, you can see me again next time. Take care. Very connecty.